Welcome back, 0K fans, to Nanal is Done. I remain Chad Fury 333, your host, and we are watching a game between Google Frog and Snuggle Base on Banded Plains, the last match for tonight. And it should be very interesting. I'm looking forward to this. Let's begin. Google Frog, for those of you who don't know, is pretty much the main game designer for 0K and Snuggle Base, as I've mentioned before, is a skilled player who's also very keen on helping out others. I call him the teacher. So yeah, the game's designer versus one of its better teachers. See how this goes. Snuggleboy's going for the Amphib Factory right off the bat. Google Frog going for Cloaky Butt Factory, which you don't see very often. I'm curious if Google Frog is testing something. The answer is usually yes. Usually if Google Frog is doing something, it is a test. Because Google Frog likes to test things. I want to make sure that everything's working out fairly well. And that's... That's good. I mean, they are designing the game, or one of the main designers and balanced designers, though... I don't know if that means they have to test all the time, or they try to test all the time, but typically they do try to test stuff out, so not going to be surprised if that's what they're doing. A couple glaives going out to harass, around, or rather to scout out around the side. Snuggle Base a little bit slower with their scouting out, so they're also starting out in a more defensive position. The southeast side of the map, typically more defensive, whereas Google Frog starting out in a slightly more aggressive position. Center of the map allows for easier expansion, though a bit harder to defend. And first fight being, well... Very short, because Duck just beats Glaive like that. The thing is, Glokybot has been generally considered somewhat underpowered recently, so I think that what Google Frog is trying to do is see how underpowered they are, or if they are really that underpowered. And see if there's anything that can be done, or see what can be done strategy-wise in order to just counter that. Just to have some way of dealing with that, because that is a problem. I mean, you don't want to have a single factory that's garbage tier. And we don't want a garbage tier factory. We want every factory to be viable. We want every factory to be useful in most situations. But yeah, a garbage tier factory is not a good thing. And that's what Clickybot is looking like, which is which is why it's good to test it. So Google Frog probably I mean, if we start seeing balance changes from these games, that'll be why, most likely, because well, Google Frog found a bunch of stuff that just does not work no matter how they tried, but probably gonna try everything they can to make it work first, just within the current bounds of the factory. Because that's how you do things like this. Okay, Orphelia is pointing out that not sure if designer applies to everything. Google Frog does actually do a lot. However, Google Frog is pretty much the one responsible for most 0K design decisions. So right now, as much as 0K is a very collaborative effort, I would say Google Frog is pretty much the balanced designer. They are... They're pretty clearly that. But anyway, Snuggle Base coming around the back and starting to get some resistance. Google Frog not allowing them in. That is not a valid entry point. Snuggle Base's ducks do not have their valid identification and passport. They need to go back to the customs office. Actually, well, rather go back to the embassy and get one of those right away. Google Frog continuing to build up. Snuggle Base, I feel like is actually building up a little bit faster. I mean, they definitely have a slightly stronger economy. But Snuggle Base right now, I mean, they haven't... Okay, I suppose they haven't quite built up along the southwest, but they pretty much have this area over here guarded, so they can take it whenever they want, over in the east. And the center has been taken faster, too. Google Frog just now getting to the center hill. Snuggle Base already took that. Snuggle Base starting out a little bit ahead, I'd say. Google Frog, despite the fact that they started in the center and do have a bit of a quick way of getting around and just generally expanding, they haven't. They haven't yet. But now Google Frog has the main hill. Snuggle Base has their hill. Snuggle Base, not quite with this section here. They will get it as soon as they can, I'm sure. Google Frog, however, starting to build up faster. And size, there we go. This is the thing that Clokybot Factory, I probably should have mentioned before, Clokybot Factory pretty much needs to rely on scythes nowadays. That's kind of their unit. That's the thing. That's the thing to use, is scythe. Because scythes are really the way to go. Like When you consider what the Clokybot Factory has, I mean, they have glaives, which are okay in large groups, but not particularly good on mass. They have warriors, which are okay riot, but against ducks are practically useless. They die too quickly. 
Rockos are good, but hard to build up in enough numbers to be useful. And also, it's kind of a grindy way of doing things. And then it just gets torn apart by air or torn apart by faster units. And I guess you have Zeus. Zeus kind of works. Though against Duck, I guess it'll work okay. Ducks only deal like 300 damage a shot. Or, yeah, 200-ish damage. So, Zeus would survive pretty well. It'd take about 11 hits to kill a Zeus for Ducks. But that's really expensive. Google Frog, however, going for Rapier, some looks of it. Getting a bunch of rapiers, we'll be using that to get rid of the ducks, and then that'll be effective, I think. Snuggleway is surprisingly not taking these meddling strategies. What is going on? Snuggleway, you've got to take these. These are yours, or were at least. And Snuggleway is going to reclaim them. Oh, wow, no defenses? Holy well, crap, Google Frog not even paying attention to the glaive. Okay, now they're paying attention to the glaive. There we go. This entire south expansion is heavily threatened, not dead. Well, maybe dead. Dead's a bit of a strong word. The ducks are coming in to try to help out. They are able to save half of it, maybe, not quite. I mean, yeah, that was a lot of damage. Google Frog might be able to turn that around. However, counter raid coming in on the west side from Snuggle Base. The ducks that came along the northwest side and took out most of this expansion, I think. Nope, that wasn't even built up to yet. But yeah, taking out the center western expansion. But the northwest being rebuilt, so that should be all good. That should be all good. That should be fine. Snugglebase, however, is now able to see there are rapiers. Actually, that's not even the big thing. The big thing is the warrior drop. The rapier was just the taste. Snugglebase, however, had also gone for their own gunship plant. We have no tridents. Banshees, yes. Tridents, no. Where are the tridents? Where are the anglers? I don't think any anglers are coming. Just ducks. But that rapier is going to be a problem, and I don't know. Are they expecting the warrior drop? I mean, Google Frog is known for warrior drops. They like doing warrior drops, I've noticed. So I'm not sure if Snuggle Base has that in mind. I don't see any anti-air really in place for that. There's one defender. And Google Frog knows enough about the layout of Snuggle Base's base to know that this is not where to attack. Southeast corner. That's the target. Although Snuggle Base does have a few rapiers coming in, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Three rapiers are coming to the north. So the northeast is under heavy threat. Snuggle Base still kind of stopping Google Frog from expanding as much as they'd like to. Although, is Google Frog aware of that? They should be. Oh, no, not really. They just haven't gone that far. Weird. And now, I think it's been revealed. It looked like there was some knowledge gained. Was there? Oh, yeah, there is, actually. Yes. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Google Frog, those ducks were right in the perfect position. So Snuggle Base knows this is coming. However, it's still not enough. Oh, the Rapier might be able to take care of one of them. And yes, gets rid of one of the transports. The Warrior off of the side, basically stuck in the corner. And the second one, not quite gone. Oh, yes, it is gone. And the Warrior thrown into the water and dies. Ouch. Not what you want to have happen. The Warrior drop completely stuffed. Very good placement of ducks by Snuggle Base. Just catching that out. That was kind of close, but it worked. However, that was also distraction, allowing the sides to get in. That's, however, still not necessarily the game. We'll see how this goes. These these rapiers are dead, however. The Banshees will be able to take them in. The sides, on the other hand, what damage can they deal? Hopefully, for their sake, a lot. So far, none. Or very little. But, we'll see. I mean, there's still time. The defenders only just killed everything. Now, this side is not working on either, unfortunately. I feel kind of bad about the warrior drop, though. That was big. I mean, that's a lot of money invested in there. And none of the warriors bait... Actually, well, not quite. I'm getting ahead of myself. There are still a Valkyrie up. It's not quite that none of the warriors made it. It's just that two of the Valkyries died. And the third one didn't really do anything. Or didn't go off in the same direction. I don't see the warrior around here anywhere. Although, whoa, what? Oh, never mind, it's right here. Got dropped into the south expansion. My mistake, missed that completely. But yeah, so Warrior dropped into the south expansion. Helped take that out. So at least Google Frog is ahead economically, but territorially, Snuggle Base is, in a sense, surrounded. Google Frog does have the edges. So Google Frog is a decent position right now. But Snuggle Base has got 
a lot of army. And they have a rather difficult position to breach through. And these Banshees are a pain in the ass to deal with. Just in general, they're a pain in the butt to deal with. Like, it's just not easy dealing with this many Banshees. They are tough as nails. And on top of the Rapiers, and the fact that there's no Gremlins or anything... There are some Gremlins, but not many. There's two Gremlins, no Tridents, a bunch of Rapiers. But really not much that Google Frog has in place to deal with these. So... Snugglebase's air force is basically just a matter of wherever Snugglebase wants to apply pressure, they get to apply pressure, and Google Frog doesn't have much they can do to answer that yet. The rapiers are going to be okay. How many rapiers are here? Nine rapiers. I keep going to move that where I wanted. No, I'm just going to move it right now. I don't care. Okay, I want it here. For crying out loud, just do what I say. It's docking widget sometimes. Anyway. So, with Snuggle Base, 8 Rapiers, and I think 5 Banshees, against 11 Rapiers for Google Frog. Google Frog in a pretty strong position right now. But, those Banshees are still the problem. Like, that's the main issue, is these Banshees. These Banshees tearing everything apart. Snuggle Base rebuilds the south, gets their main base, and the Banshee's still going strong. And they tore apart the, the northeast as well, so Google Frog, right now... I'm going to take that back. Taking that back fairly effectively. And hey, Conjurers are still there. And now we will see the rebuild, because Google Frog has just opened up the northeast side, and Snuggle Base losing the center east side very quickly, but a base trade situation going on here, or at least Snuggle Base is trying to provoke that. And indeed, there's nothing really to defend against this. Rapiers continue to be built from Google Frog, but nothing really to deal with the Banshees right now. Nothing in the main base. Nothing big enough. And where's the rebuild? Okay, there's the rebuild. Some razors coming up. Not sure why. Razors are not the best against Banshees. Main base, however, does... I mean, they are good against Rapiers, though. So they aren't useless. It's just they're only going to be useful against about half the army. And that's still hard to do with all the Rapiers up here. And unfortunately, going for the Tick... The ticks doesn't go. I don't know if that was actually intentional. The ticks work okay if, if gunships are near the ground. The ticks and roaches work great, but that was up a cliff, so unfortunately not quite as effective. Anyway, Google Frog continued to harass around. Very nice harassment too. I mean, Snuggle Base does have to deal with this. They have to answer to this eventually, and while Google Frog has lost a lot of economy, mostly their commander. That's the biggest blow. I mean, they have. They have a transport, they have conjures building around the northwest, the northeast as well, as soon as they start actually building. Reclaiming mostly. So Google Frog a little bit reliant on reclaim right now, and the Banshees still posing a threat. I don't think, oh never mind, there actually are enough rapiers. This is actually working, the Banshees heart being taken down, how about that? Snuggle Base no longer completely dominating the air game. However, what do they have in the main base? Not much. Going for tridents, though. Finally, we see tridents. It's been for most of this game. For 13 minutes now, no tridents. Finally, we see tridents. And at this point, we also finally see that both si both players kind of have their side. Oh, never mind. Google Frog has the n southwest. So, no. Both players do not have their sides completely. Google Frog does have their side open. They can just take it as soon as they like. Snuggle Base doesn't have any ducks over to the corner or anything like that. Whereas, like I said, Google Frog does have these two metal extractors, and Snuggle Base is not aware of them. At all. Completely ignorant of the existence of those things. Or rather, ignorant to the existence of those. How many Banshees are left? This is it! One Banshee left! The Rapiers have torn them to shreds. Snuggle Base going for one last ditch attempt against the main base of those Banshee. Well, that one Banshee. And not going to work super well, unfortunately. One Banshee does not do enough. It's really a group effort. And into the drink it goes. Where it shall forever sit. Because I don't imagine that anyone's going to bother to reclaim that. But yeah, Google Frog, very reclaim happy at the moment. Those, oh, Northwest getting destroyed again! Snuggle Base's harassment has been relentless this whole game! Just more and more ducks coming in. They're just packing in all of the ducks they can. At least Google Frog does have their commander. They can reclaim off that. And of course, the area they were in the northeast where they had built up. 
getting a more solid economy regardless, despite the harassment. Still tough, though. Like, that harassment is still tough to deal with. It's worth pointing out, it really is not easy to deal with that much harassment going on, and that's exactly what's happening, is all this harassment... And now the rapiers coming in. But like I said, razors work against rapiers. The banshees aren't up, the razors are. And the rapiers are forced back. Google Frog with their own rapiers. Should be able to get rid of the ducks, no problem. So once again, taking the northwest, taking on the northwest. Snuggle base, not letting that go easy though. And with the economy they have, going for grizzly. There is that grizzly. This is the thing we were talking about the first game with duck into grizzly. And that's exactly what Snuggle base has been doing. However, I'm not sure this has worked as well. The gunship helped, but still, duck into Grizzly on a map like this against Cloaky may not be as effective. Ticks are still a thing, though at present there aren't any in play. But they're still a thing that could exist. It could happen. It could happen. Don't go saying it, don't. Although Google Frog does need to rebuild over to the northwest as quickly as they can. They are re they've rebuilt the northeast, and they need to rebuild the northwest, reclaiming as much as possible, which is good, but still, they have a lot of rebuilding to do. And these tridents are getting intercepted by the gremlins. There we go, those gremlins intercepting the tridents very effectively. One down so far, shouldn't be too long to get rid of the entire lot of them, although there are nine of them, there's quite a few. Two down, eight of them left. And none being produced, Snuggle Base focusing entirely on building the grizzly. The first grizzly about to be finished. But at this point, Snugglebase doesn't have that strong of an economy. Building up Grizzlies is not going to be like the first game where they had 50 metal of income. It's going to be much harder to do. And Google Frog able to stop those Tridents as long as they know where they are. But hey, if they know where they are, then they're good. 8 Tridents, 12 Rapiers. And how many Gremlins? Well, right here there's 7. 12 in total, but the rest of them further back. Yeah, this is going to be tough to deal with. Google Frog does have potentially a way out. They need to rebuild their economy, though. They've been needing to rebuild their economy for some time. Possibly piloting these two... Like, how much energy is here? 50 energy being to, being produced here. That should be piloted into the main base. That would be a lot of... From that, I think that would be about... Two and a half times metal? So that would be about five metal... That would be about 15 metal in the main base alone. If Google Frog did that. They'd nearly double their economy. I'm a little bit surprised they haven't done that. The overdose situation is kind of ridiculous right now for Google Frog. They actually don't have any overdrive. Nothing is being overdriven right now. And for workers, they have one over here. So I can check for because only one cloaky player. Yeah, mostly in the northeast. Some in the main base northwest. And that's about it. Oh, and one just off to the south, minding its own business. On vacation. On vacation, Snuggle Base territory. It had its papers. Or at least it snuck in. Didn't really need its papers. But it's in anyway. And Google Frog continuing to push out, stopping Snuggle Base from having complete free reign, and the Razors once again stopping these air units. The Ducks, however, well, more so the Grizzly, stopping this from being as much of a threat as it could otherwise be. The Grizzly actually becoming a bit of a thorn in the side. This thing is just. It's a pain in the butt to deal with all the time. That's I mean, that's why Snuggle Base says go for Grizzly, duck to Grizzly, that's how you do it. But right now, Google Frog going for the same thing Snuggle Base was about 10 minutes ago with this whole base trade idea. Basically going for the same thing. And the Gremlins making hell for everything in the air for Snuggle Base. These Tridents can't do anything about them. The Rapiers kind of can, but not much. However, still the Duck, the Duck Grizzly mix and a Crow coming in as well. Two Demi... Okay, Crow is a full-on Strider. But yeah, pretty much Strider and Demi Strider going through... Snuggle Base is still in a, it's a tough position. Google Frog has to get through this. If they want to win the game, at least, Google Frog has to get through this. And this is not working out well. I mean, these. All of these gremlins are presenting a major problem for Snuggle Base and allowing Google Frog to apply pressure. Like, the amount of pressure that Google Frog has applied, like, the amount of respect that Snuggle Base has to give Google Frog's rapiers, despite the fact that Snuggle Base has a ground army that Google Frog cannot touch outside of the rapiers. But the fact that the rapiers need to give need to be given full respect means that Snuggle Base can't do anything against this, and Google Frog is basically able to wipe out the map. Pretty much entirely with mass rapier. Because the Grizzly 
just isn't going to help. The Rapiers can avoid it completely. The Tridents are a pretty good idea, but Google Frog's just avoiding those. They have enough Gremlins they can use as a trap, effectively. Although, unfortunately, these Gremlins are out of position, so the Tridents actually do have free reign, but even then, there's enough room to get out. These Rapiers can get out, and they should be able to intercept the Ducks and Grizzly. And there we go. The Gremlins now intercepting. Should be a massacre of the Air Forces right now. The Rapiers could still be a threat, but the Tridents are all dead. Tridents are gone. The Rapiers are heavily threatened. Forced back once again. I mean, how many gremlins are... That's 14 gremlins right there. That's some scary stuff. That really is scary stuff. The amount of power that's required for that to make... Just to make that work. I don't know. That's really something. And more... Well, okay. The rapiers... Single rapiers aren't the best option. This giant mass of rapiers, on the other hand, that could work a bit better. And by a bit, I mean a lot better. And the Grizzly now pretty much slow, well, slowed down completely. So now they have like a, what, 30 second reload time? Oh no, 12 second reload time, sorry. But it doesn't matter, that Grizzly's not going to get another shot off. That's Grizzly down. But the Crow is still under production, if not done. Oh. No, wait, no, no, no. The crow was... The crow was cancelled, wasn't it? No, it was not! The crow was still up! One last shot for Snuggle Base. Google Frog has their economy built up, and the main base getting heavily damaged by Glaives. Suicide run by Glaives, taking care of as much of the of the energy economy as possible. Metal economy is not really a concern. Energy economy is where it's at. Google Frog took up quite a lot, too. Snuggle Base's energy economy is tanking, and now with the wind generators dying as well, but mostly the wind generators getting killed in the first place. The wind itself is dying down, but... Not enough. Not enough for it to make a difference. That was a good raid. That's not... Let's not mince words. That was an awesome raid. And there's the D-Gun. Gonna get rid of the Cloakybot factory. Possibly the gunship plant. If the gunship plant goes down, that might really make it difficult. And yeah, the gunship plant actually survives! Wow. Just barely. Dug into the ground a bit. But a thousand health. And that gunship plant makes it. The crow does not. That's a lot of reclaim to work with. 1,800 metal worth of reclaim. And the extra support being torn apart, too. Snuggle Base right now, they've basically lost everything. And Google Frog, the only problem right now is that Google Frog can't easily push to finish it off. They lost a lot of rapiers in that process. They had to pull them back. There's only five of them in the game left. Yeah, there's only five in play, one of which is under production. Snuggle Base going back to pure duck, trying to get that there. And that, that's probably going to be it. I don't think that Google Frog is going to have any problem getting back up. I mean, there's so much reclaim here. Yeah, there's, like, what, 6,000 metal worth of reclaim right in their main base? This is trivial. Once they get that set up, Google Frog's economy is set for the rest of the game. Absolutely set. And a vehicle plant coming in the center of the map, because why not? Are we going to see Slashers, Ravagers? Massive Scorcher Rush. Darts! Setting up a bunch of darts. That actually kind of makes sense. That would tank a lot of shots from the ducks. But I don't know if that's the best position for it. I mean, really, this is not working out especially well. The rapiers coming in for extra support. How many rapiers are up yet? Six rapiers so far. All of which for Google Frog, because Snuggle Base has stopped building rapiers. They're stopped building air altogether, actually. Nor are they building anti-air. Rather surprisingly, Snuggle Base has yet to build any anti-air. Either dedicated... Or, well, I should say, either static or mobile. And ducks do not count as anti-air. I guess dedicated to flex would be another thing, but that's not really an option. For, I mean, ducks are kind of flex AA, but not that quickly. Their missiles don't move that quickly. It's not as effective as you might think. Man, these ducks still providing a lot of stress for Google Frog. In main base, we do have, well, more caretakers reclaiming what they can. Google Frog having to... Oh, man, what are they going to build up from here? they got to start really building. they got to start building hard. They're start, they're accessing metal. I mean, their economy is definitely stronger, but they are starting to excess metal, and we are seeing Scorchers. Looks like that is going to be the thing to do, is a bunch of Scorchers. And these ducks continuing to throw themselves at the Light Vehicle Factory. This is a lot of reclaimed work, but if it weren't the fact that Google Frog was starting to excess metal, it's actually even then. Even then, it's... You might as well. Another caretaker or two, and then that's basically it. 
Google Frog able to just push that economy, push all that reclaim. I'm not sure what Snuggle Base has left. I mean, they're going for the mass ducks. That's what they're. That's all they have. That's all they want to go for. That's all they really trust, honestly. It actually was talking to them earlier. That's. They don't really seem to think much of. Or well, don't think much of archers. Think a bit of boys, but not a huge amount. Think a lot of ducks and grizzlies. Don't think much of anglers. Actually, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised that they haven't gone for anglers. They don't think much of them. I mean, right now, I think the ducks... like They're tempting because they have been dealing a lot of damage harassing around the map. But overall, as an option, I feel like they're just not doing the trick. Just because, I mean, like I said, they're just, what is there? Like, There's rapiers. What do the ducks do against rapiers? Die horribly. Not exactly the best mix. So right now, the ducks don't seem like the best option. The best option would probably be... I mean, Trinets are not the best option, because they have enough anti-air. Anglers might work, or just now we're at We are seeing an airplane plant actually being built up. Probably some swifts. Swifts or hawks to get rid of the rapiers, and that... That would probably work. That would help. Yeah. I can see that. Don't know how effective that would be outright, but I could see that. See how that works out, and... Once again, ducks just getting torn to shreds. I mean... Hitting a few rapiers here and there, but not a lot. And the rapiers can kind of dodge. Oh, one of them did just die. But when you consider ducks cost, what, 80 each? Rapiers cost 300 each? Yeah. If, okay, if four ducks die to a single rapier, maybe. But it's been far more than that. It just does not work for cost. The attrition on the ducks has been way too much. And at this point, Google Frog is as clearly stabilized. They're clearly back to a stable position. They have a ton of rapiers being built up. I mean, the rapiers... 14 rapiers so far. It takes 10 seconds to build an additional rapier. Not much being built in the light vehicle factory, but still. And hawks coming up for Snuggle Base. Three hawks so far. Well, two hawks, one in production so far. So the rapiers are not necessarily going to have the easiest time to continue harassing. But still. They can still pretty much continue harassing. There's still a lot of harassment that can be done. And when that's done, well, Scorchers. Or Crasher, well, okay, Crasher Frontier. And Air coming up for Goo Frog as well? How many factors have we had this game? We've had Cloaky into Gunship, into Light Vehicle, into Air, versus Amphib into Gunship into Air. Okay, I guess this actually isn't as much when I start to name it out. Still, feels like a lot. I mean, sheesh, that's still a lot of switching around. Goo Frog! Scouting this out. A few darts going in to see what's happening. Yeah, they see there are a lot of Lotuses. Over on the eastern side of the map. A big lotus forest. Oh, and Hokomoko, the amphib specialist, is pointing out that boys would actually be a really good idea in general. And yeah, I guess rapiers, boys do really well. Boys are frightening against rapiers. You think rapiers would do okay, but no. The boys just tear them, like, they slow them down, tear them to shreds. If you use rapiers against boys, I've seen it work, but it's hard. There's a lot of attrition. And here come the hawks. This is the real threat. Because there are no boys in play, so that's not a threat. And that's still not that great. Go, go, okay, Google Frog Snuggle Base. Their economy is even. More or less. Snuggle Base is better in energy. They do have a fusion plant in their base, I believe. No. Nope, just a lot of wind in the back. But then so does Google Frog. Hmm. And the reclaim being taken. And finally, the crow getting reclaimed. That'll take a while. That, that should take about... Let's see, five per second. Yeah. That'll be a while. That'll be a while yet, like six minutes, give or take. And nice vulture setup for Google Frog. That's what you want to know exactly what's going on. And at this point, we have Swifts, Swifts to deal with the Hawks, and the Rapiers can still go around harassing pretty effectively. Not perfectly effectively, but still pretty effectively. And those ducks. More ducks. Always more ducks. Because where would we be without ducks, right? I mean... Well, I guess in a less terrifying world overall. But no. Still. Where would we be? Yeah, more harassment coming in. The Hawks, kind of out of position. Not a big deal. Hawks are fast enough. It's not going to be a problem. However, well, okay, it is going to be a problem because there's just too many rapiers. How many rapiers are there? Let's count them. 29! Thanks, game. Good counting. And yeah, 29 rapiers against... How many hawks are there? 
14 Hawks? Okay. If they're all in position, that could be a problem. They, however, are not. I think these Rafers could just about win the game on their own at this point. Not totally. The Hawks are coming into position. They actually are going to be more of a threat. Gremlins will help, but the Rapiers are forced to retreat into Gremlin cover. But more Rapiers coming. I mean, Rapiers... Okay, there should be like 30-something now. 32. That's all Google Frog is building is Rapiers. Google Frog intends to win with Rapiers. Tear apart these Hawks with the Gremlins, which is actually exactly what's happening right now. But how many Rapiers are still there? 24, 23 on the Hawks. Five Hawks left. Bunch of... Four Hawks left. Maybe three in a moment. Two Hawks left. The Dart... The Duck's trying to get rid of the Gremlins. Not really doing much good. And 23 Rapiers still in play. 15 of the front lines, but still. 23 Rapiers still in play. All of the Hawks are... All but one of the Hawks, sorry. Oh, a bunch of them being produced, but still. All the Hawks in that attack group are dead. That's Gremlins for you. Being torn to shreds by Ducks, though. Those Rapiers... Come on! The Gremlins saved your butt. Save theirs back! One good saving of a life deserves another, you know. And the Rapiers do know. And those Gremlins, some of them died, but half of them died. But the remaining half, that's it. The Rapiers win the game. And Google Frog takes it. Wow, that was back and forth. My goodness. I don't know what to think of that match. On the one hand, one heck of a set of comebacks. I mean, we go from having Google Frog kind of being cut like snuggle bases around here snuggle bases out in the back constantly harassing google frog never really able to get a stable economy and then trying to go for the big drop which fails utterly that was that warrior still there the entire game oh no it died but yeah so trying to go for a warrior drop which didn't really accomplish much it hit the bottom dealt some damage but not a huge amount and then snuggle base Basically comes in with Banshees, tearing everything apart. Google Frog able to fight back with a bunch of Rapiers. To the point that Snuggle Base is almost dead, even with all the Tridents, because the Tridents get torn to shreds. And then a Crow comes in. Somewhat stabilizes it out. Like, but then the Duck and Grizzly is where Snuggle Base is really going for. Doesn't manage to deal as much damage as they would like. Gets torn apart at the edge here. And the Crow got torn apart here, I and mean, it's still in. Still in play. Well, the Wreck is. And then after that was just Snuggle Base over harassing and ultimately throwing away a bunch of units, allowing Google Frog to get a lot of momentum. And yeah, that's basically it. That was basically how the game went. That was really weird, really back and forth. Cool to watch though. We had Dorsch pointing out that the Rapiers the Rapiers weren't properly countered. And we saw that. Yeah, the Hawks didn't really work super well. I think Swifts work okay. Razors, however, work quite well. Razors would have been a good idea. Not sure about anglers. That might have worked. Wouldn't surprise me if it did. Boys. Boys, of course. Those work really well. It's not something you might think, though, because they don't have a missile. They don't have a guided attack. But rapiers are slow. It's surprising how much unguided fire can actually deal with rapiers. Just for how slow they are. So, it's worth considering. It's worth noting. They don't move quickly, and they tend to bunch up. Now, they're basically ground units that happen to be flying. But yeah, that was that. So yeah, on the one hand, it's like, neat set of comebacks. On the other hand, I'm not sure if it was really the best set of counters from both sides. Google Frog definitely had great ideas for how to attack and counter. Snuggle Base was just stuck on Duck Grizzly. They really wanted Duck Grizzly. They wanted Duck to do a thing. And the Ducks sort of did a thing. And then they stopped doing a thing very abruptly. And then they all died. They just stopped doing anything after that point. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. No matter what it was, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Th so thank you for watching. That is going to be it for me tonight. So have a good night, everyone.